name of Jesus, I come boldly to your thing of grace, God. I come, God, tonight knowing nothing but Jesus and himself crucified. I ask you to have me, God, behind your cross, God. Speak to me, God, would you have me speak to your people, God. Let me decrease, God, to increase, scratch out in me all the more, God. Thank you for the pastor of this house, God, that continue to let her use our gifts, God. Oh, God, I bless your holy name. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. My Lord, my strength, and my redeemer. Hallelujah. Tonight, we are going to Exodus. Exodus 14 and sign at verse 14. And if you'll be so kind, you have a Bible, stand with me for the reading of the word. Exodus 14 and 14, and it reads, The Lord shall fight for you, and he shall hold your peace. Verse 15, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore cry down to me, speaking to the children of Israel, that they go forward. And verse 22, And the children of Israel went into the midst of the sea, Upon the dry ground, and the waters were, were up, and the waters were on walls unto them on their right hand and on their left hand. And just for a little while tonight, complaining won't win. Complaining won't win. God's trying to help you, and you complaining. What is complaining? The expression of dissatisfaction or annoying about something. People's getting blessed and you complaining. Wait your turn. You have been around the mountain and back and you're still complaining. It's a process, I tell you. You've been in this thing called relationship and for fellowship a long time. You must continue to press. Press for it. The word let us know in Philippians 3 and 13. Brethren, I count not myself to apprehend, but this thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. And verse 14, press toward the mark for the price of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I have to ask someone, why did you let the devil stick up his head? The Bible said in John 10 and 10, the devil kill and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Don't let the blessings of God separate you from him, from the love of Christ. The Bible says in Romans 8, 35, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distresses, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearls, or sword? We have to be like the soldiers, y'all, in the army. When the captain come in, they salute him. And they begin to... Tomorrow, hut, one, two, three, hut, one, two, three, hut, one, two, three. We got to be like the soldiers, y'all. We got to be the soldiers that's on the battlefield. We have to be obedient to the leading of the pastor. If you can't obey the pastor, don't then you don't need no pastor. The Bible let us know that he watches over our soul. Hebrews 13 and 17. About, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. They watch for your soul. As they do it, they must give account that they may do it with joy and not with grief. For that is improbable for you. Thank you, God. Bless your holy name, God. Thank you, Father. Stop pointing fingers. 
because you got too many fingers pointing back at you. It's like the lady when she became a little shock when she was caught in adultery. The men of the town was looking her up and down. She was in sin. You've been in sin before. You can't even catch the stone. Thank you, God. She was in sin, and the men was trying to, they was persecuting her. But some of those men had been with her. You can't catch that stone because you might have did some of the things that she did too. John 8 and 7 says, so when they continued asking, he lifted up himself and said unto them, he that was without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. You might as well put your stone down because you done did something that she done too. You done said something she might have said too. You done went out of the way just like she might have went out of the way too. Thank you, God. If you complaining and worrying, you don't even need to be praying. The best thing for you to do is to trust God. The Bible let us know in Proverbs 3 and 5, and also verse 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not to thy own understanding. And verse 6 says, In all their ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Thank you, God. Just getting on board, y'all. Just some people just getting on board. And they come in with a negative of Shanda. They come in with a nasty attitude. Don't you blow no fear. Get a good attitude. Stay humble. Thank you, God. Some of y'all might not know about that big fat cow we got back there in the office. It's a big fat cow back there on a boy. And I'm trying to tell you, you need to stay humble and willing and teachable and sit down somewhere and just listen. You got to listen. You can't always be running your mouth. The Bible let us know if we're willing and obedient, then we can eat the good of the land. The Bible let us know in Isaiah 1 and 19, if ye be willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. Don't get a smart mouth, because it'll get you put out. Look like the Holy Ghost will tell you, be quiet. The Holy Ghost can call you. The Holy Ghost can pull your change. You out of order. Get yourself back in order. Follow the directions. I never want to be a clown. I never wanted to be a, a clown. I'm talking about myself. I never wanted to be a classroom clown. You know how some of those people, they be a classroom clown? They be doing everything. They be doing too much. They be getting out of character, stay in character. They be telling lies and everything. They be doing it all, y'all. But the Bible say in Revelation 21 and 8, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable, and the murders, and the homongers, and sorceries, and idolaters, and liars shall have their part in the lake of fire, which burned with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. God is the only one that can fight your battle. If you've been trying to fight your battle, let me tell you tonight. Stop trying to fight that battle. Let God fight the battle because God is the one. God is the one get the benches. You will get yourself deeper and deeper and deeper in trouble. If you're trying to pick it a little more sucker, if you're trying to fight your own battle, the Bible let us know in Roma. The Bible let us know in Roma 12, 19. Dearly beloved, advance not yourself. But rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Benjamin and man, and I will repay, saith the Lord. Thank you, God. If you need some wisdom, ask the God. James 1 and 5. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask the God that give it to all men's liberty and upbraid and not, 
and it shall be given him, and not just, and don't take advice from everybody, as I was saying today. Don't take advice from everybody. Take some advice from your spiritual head. You got a spiritual head. You better get some advice from him because everybody ain't going to give you a little bit of Everybody ain't going to give you no good advice. Some people will give you some bad advice. They'll give you some bad advice to get off the track that you're on and know you're supposed to stay on that track. The Bible let us know in Proverbs 24 and 6, for by wise counseling, that shall make thy war, and in a multitude of counselor, there shall be safety. You will stay safe if you get the right advice. If you get the right advice from the right person, but if you get the wrong advice, something might just go wrong in your life. Thank you, God. Complaining won't win. Let me tell you about the Israel children. The Israel children, they complained. You know, they was doing real good, you know. They, were re they was doing real good, and they were hearing the word from Moses, and Pastor Moses, he was giving them the word, and they were listening to what Pastor Moses said. But then one day, they wanted to complain. Because Pastor Moses had took them out there in that wilderness, God. And when he took them out there in that wilderness, they started complaining. They said, Pastor Moses, you brought me out here. You brought me out here to die, Pastor Moses. I thought you heard from the Lord. Well, he did hear from the Lord. But you the one stop listening, Pastor Moses. And you start listening to yourself. You start listening to that flesh. You were listening to God, but you were listening to your flesh. Thank you, God. The flesh should talk to you too. The flesh should talk to your man. The flesh should take a little shaka, a little shaka. The flesh should tell you do some things you ain't got no business doing. That's what the flesh should do for you. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your holy name. And the children of Israel, they kept on complaining. And they kept on complaining. And they kept on complaining. And they kept on complaining. Let me tell somebody tonight, don't you complain. Don't you complain. Take it to the Lord. Take it to the Lord in prayer and leave it there and see what my God come in and see about you. The Bible let us know we got to study, y'all. Study this word so we'll be ready when the enemy come. The Bible let us know in 2 Timothy 2 and 15. It says, study show that self approval, y'all. Unto God, a workman unto a shame, rightly divine the word of truth. If you can divide the word true, you can divide the word wrong too. Thank you, God. Now let me talk about old Pastor Moses one more time. And then I'm going on home. Pastor Moses, he didn't have no pulpit. He didn't have one of these, Pastor Moses did, but he had a congregation. He had a congregation just like we got a congregation. And Pastor Moses had to give the direction out to the people. Just like this pastor we got here, he got to give the directions out to the people. He got a lot on his hands, y'all. That's why we shouldn't be wearing the pastor. Don't worry with everything. Don't worry with all that little bitty, bitty, bitty stuff. Don't worry with him about everything. Go to God for yourself. Go to God for yourself. You got to go to God for yourself. You've been in this thing long enough to know how to go to God. For yourself. Thank you, God. It can a little more shake it a little more shaka. It can a little more shake it a little more shaka. Thank you, my God. Good God. It can a little more shaka. Thank you, God. One more thing. And I'm going to leave you. 
do the blessings of God make you cut up and make you act up and make you get out of character? Don't let the blessings of God do that to you. Be thankful for the blessings of God that God is going to pour about on you. Complaining won't win. Thank you, God.